Um, ladies and gentlemen, afternoon, and I hope that this video is going to find so well wherever you are. Please consider to give a thumb of like to this video for it to reach several people in the YouTube platform. Now, the flood which our country is now experiencing is beyond human being expectation. And I want to say that the Maimai tragedy which occurred today in the morning is a very shocking news that we must now call upon each other and seek forgiveness from God. And as you know, all of us have sinned and fall short of God's glory. That is whatever we ought to understand and we should now repent and return to God. As much as this is happening across the the world or ex, being experienced globally and again it is human being uh, cannot control it now we must ask ourselves is there anything which our forefathers did we are now eating that forbidden fruit and i have this verse for you ladies and gentlemen before i displayed the two video clips that is going to form the basis of our analysis Jeremiah 5.2.2 is saying I the Lord define the oceans sandy shoreline as an everlasting boundary that the, that the water cannot cross the waves may toss and roar but they can never pass the boundaries I set and a line they can never pass the boundary, boundary the Lord has set now this verse uh, if you've listened to those who have listened to Don Moen's song about the oceans roars when the ocean oceans roars if you've listened to it i don't want to display it here due to youtube uh, ins uh, instruction but you will realize that it has been removed from jeremiah 522 i want us to forget about that and come to our the re reality on whatever the nation is uh, now experiencing and my first observation is that maybe our the nation is under judgment so we call upon those who are traveling those who are driving to be precautious to each other i want us to listen to the two clips of bbc have exposed our country as the first to experience such kind of heavy rainfall tragedy and again today citizen tv have come out with my mayu tragedy i want us to listen to the two clip then after that we are going to carry on with this video kuwe nairobi na kuru katika eneo la maemahi ambapo msongamano mkubwa wa magari kwa sasa unashuhudiwa basi la kampuni ya easy coach lijipata kwenye mafuriko hayo na kusombwa na maji hata hivyo abiria walokuwa tayari wameshuka kutoka kwenye basi hilo lilikuwa limetoka na rock likielekea nairobi wasafiri wameonywa kuchukua tahadhari na kuepuka maporomoko eh, kwa kutotumia barabara hiyo Roads have turned into rivers in the Kenyan capital, Nairobi, as it experiences extreme levels of flooding. Some residents can be seen trapped on the roofs of their homes and cars have been stranded. The UN reports that at least 32 people have lost their lives. More than 40,000 people have been forced from their homes. You've listened to the videos. That is, uh, BBC is now telling you very clearly that 32 people have lost their life. At 40,000, people forced to vacate in various places where they used to reside. Places like uh, Nairobi are the main cities which have been affected as we speak at this moment. 
Now my Mayu is now bordering the same boat to Nairobi. Whatever have taken place in, Nairobi, in my Mayu is very sad. The vehicles have been driven away by the flood. Again, I have said about the, the, the East Coast bus. Those who watch the trending photos on social media, that is whatever you can realize is taking place in our country. So what should the government do to rescue this situation? And that is the fundamental thing that we ought to now discuss about. Before I carry on, ladies and gentlemen, it is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find you well, whatever you are. Please allow me to remind you, if this might be your first time watching me as on Kenya TV YouTube channel, I request you do me a favor, take a one second and click that subscription button and subscribe. We are only remaining with only now four subscribers for us to reach 2000 roughly, I think. But I want to appreciate you so much for the support. Continue with the same spirit. Now, my Mayu tragedy uh, is very sad, uh, according to my side. And uh, as several people have been taken to hospital, and flash flood swept the town. That is, the, it has never happened in the history in our country. But as human beings, we are sometimes leaving things for God to control. The flood which is taking place, or the rainfall which is now taking place in our country, is very dangerous. The advice that I can give our drivers is to just drive carefully. For those who have gone to driving school, as I, I used to say, tell you, during uh, my analysis, I used to give uh, whatever took place at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. The drivers must also understand that there's fog at this moment or at this season. So if there's fog, first thing they must consider that they should stop over speeding. The second thing, they must be serious on how they are driving. I think if they follow that way, then all of this thing should be prohibited. Again, when you watch some of the drivers, I don't know if they are drinking or they don't understand. Unapata mutu, maji meja. For instance, yenye lifanyika uko nini, ukambani. Maji meja. Yee, amebeba watu na lori. Anaenda tu anapitia hapo. What was his intention? Today, I was just uh, doing the research. I saw, in fact, by the way, Citizen TV have, 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 have exposed it. The Tana, again, tragedy. I think it was seven minutes ago. And I said it. Unapata, these people walipanda boat. Many of them walikuwa kwa boat. Then you expect the boat have been overloaded. The boat capsized and all of them, I think, died. You see, those are the factors we ought to consider. Kama ni watatu wa ine, hakuna, hakuna ambio kwa Afrika. Let's be control and brothers keeper and sisters keeper to one another. The things that you expect the government to assist you, they won't come and assist you, as you think. Kenya Red Cross, wako very busy, pia wana saidia pande ingine. Kenya Navy, the same. You expect KDF. Those are also, they are very busy. Wanalinda inchi. So, what I want to say as I conclude is that this is very wrong. And lastly, let us just pray for our country and let us just remain vigilant, focused, and careful. At this moment, our country is having a tragedy or whatever heavy rainfall we are now experiencing globally. Meanwhile, what are your take, ladies and gentlemen? According to uh, the photos I've just displayed, the video I've just displayed, you are free to give your advice. May you have a blessed afternoon as you hope to meet on another political discussion.